Who? Shavkat Rachmanov. All right, guys, what's up, man? It's your boy, Kevin Trailblazer Holland. What's up, guys? This is Steven of Wonderboy Thompson, and we're gonna break down the welterweight division. Daniel Rodriguez, supposed to be my 24th win, but yeah, it is what it is. Dude keeps losing now. Daniel Rodriguez is a phenomenal fighter. I've been watching this guy very closely because he's working his way up the rankings. Uh, very good hands. He's a great boxer. Not only that, but he's, he's, he's kind of like, he dabbles in everything. He's got some submissions under his belt, but mostly what I watch is his striking. He's a very high level striker. Michelle Pereira, probably one of the most exciting guys I've ever seen in my life. The dude cuts flips, back flips, barrel rolls, you name it, the guy does it. Uh, Michael Pereira, really fun, interesting guy, the way he fights, did not know he was top 15. Michael Chiesa, my man, the myth, the legend. I hang out with this dude, he's so cool. Very good grappler, very good wrestler. Um, he's got, his striking has gotten better as well, but uh, amazing grappler for sure. Michael Chiesa, uh, doesn't do anything but sticks his head in people's crotches, he sucks. Neil Magny, the dude has had more fights than anybody I've ever met, probably up there with Cowboy Cerrone. The guys fought the who's who in the division and good everywhere. Neil Magny, wish list Kevin Holland, works. Jorge Masvidal, known for sucker punch of people. It's probably why he's sponsored by Sucker Punch or managed by Sucker Punch, I don't know. Masvidal, we shared the octagon together, my friend. Uh, very good striker, not only that, but the dude has got to get the gab. Everybody loves him. I, I think he's the OG, man. I think he's really cool. And the BMF. I'm the NMF. He's the BMF. But I think we should run it back. I think we should we should do it again. Well, run it back. I won the first one, but you know what I mean. Shavkat Rachmanov. Who? Shavkat Rachmanov. Next name, please. I can't even say the name. Shavkat Rachmanov, the guy... Um, they actually, the UFC wanted me to fight him. I was like, I don't want to fight that dude. Uh, good everywhere, great striker. I think he's undefeated, so that tells you about him. I and mean, the guy's like really good. And uh, very good grappler, so I think he's good everywhere. Very well-rounded fighter for sure. Oh, Vicente Luque, dude's real tough. Uh, hasn't really changed his fighting style. Vicente, he, this guy has the hardest head in the division, hands down. Broke both my hands on this dude's noggin. Uh, at Madison Square Garden. It wasn't fun, uh, but the dude is very tough. Good grappler, he's, he submitted some of the best guys in the division and knocked out some of the best guys in the division. Love him. Sean Brady, great grappler, just had his first loss, I believe, in Abu Dhabi, but don't take that away from him. The guy's very good. He was undefeated up until that point, but high, a heavy, heavy grappler, high level black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, and his striking's getting better, so I think he's very well rounded. Sean Brady, really tough. Can't strike. It's okay, I can't wrestle, so. Jeffrey Neal, really, really good guy, awesome. Same fighter he was a year ago. Another guy that I've shared the octagon with, my man Jeff Neal, he's ranked higher than me right now. It's crazy. I fought him, I think, two years ago, I think? And we went all five uh, minute rounds, five rounds, and very tough. We ended up headbutting each other, I think in the second or first round, both cut each other, but another, another tough, and a legit fighter and good everywhere. Takedown defense is like a 10. Steven, the guy's a loser, okay? Steven Thompson uh, is not a very nice guy. Uh, from what I hear, uh, he, he cheats and um, he's a pansy. That's all I gotta say about him. Steven Wonderboy Thompson, wonderful guy. I'm gonna knock him the out. Gilbert Burns, probably one of the strongest guys I felt in the division. We, we shared uh, the octagon together as well and went all three rounds. There was a few times in that fight where I giggled. Number one, where he took me down and I was trying to get back up and we were both punching each other in the face, kind of brought me back to the old pride days. I giggled, I chuckled there, and I chuckled when I was trying to get up. I was kind of on my side and he was over top of me, had me around my waist and literally forced me down with his neck. I was like, how in the heck is your neck that strong? The dude ain't got a neck. And that has something to do with it, I think. Gilbert Burns, really tough guy, can't stop a jab. Do I fought all these guys? Bilal Muhammad, very intelligent fighter. IQ's up there when it comes to the fight game. Very good wrestler, takedown defense. Uh, Damian Maia couldn't get this guy down. Uh, very good, and, and, and his, his striking's pretty good as well. So I ended up, I ended up losing to him my last fight, um, but a very good fighter for sure. Bilal Muhammad, really cool guy, boring as <laughs> Hamza Chemaev, dirty mother <laughs> Hamza Chemaev. Uh, should be at 185, because I don't think he's made weight. Uh, he was like, what, eight pounds heavy his last fight? Anyway, very good fighter. 
Uh, he's got some hands on him. He's got a good strike. He went all three rounds with uh, Gilbert Burns. He's, he's, he's tough, too, because Gilbert rocked him with a right hand, and he got back up like it didn't even hurt him. So very good fighter. Oh, Colby. Colby Covington is what I hear is super nice. He's like one of the nicest guys in the division, but you wouldn't see that on social, on, on, on social media or TV. He seems like he's the cockiest guy, but from what I hear is the nicest guy. But um, cardio for days and a great wrestler. Um, the guy doesn't get tired. I mean, how do you beat somebody that doesn't get tired? I don't know. Colby Covington, racist mother Usman, I think he is the best. Pound for pound, one of the best fighters out there. Cardio for days, amazing wrestling, very strong. Fight IQ is up there. He's got really good striking. Put some, most of the guys that I've talked about, put him to sleep. Um, very, very good fighter. I mean, that's all I can say about the guy. Kamal Usman with condom, Leon Edwards, he a cool mother, but he can get it too. Leon, my man, Leon, my brother. Very proud of you, my friend. Very happy for you. This dude has come so far, and it's been a long time coming. He should have had the title fight years ago. But that said, he crushed it his last fight. Not only did he show his striking abilities, but his ability, his, his grappling abilities. He took one of the guys who's never been taken down, Kamara Usman, took him down, held him down the first round. Takedown defense on point. He, every time he got down, he got right back up and act like he wasn't even tired. And timing was awesome. When he knocked out Usman, it was like, you couldn't ask for any, the, the most perfect timing in that fight. Fifth round, they were, they were above elevation and uh, you could tell that Usman was getting tired, his reflexes were a little slow, and that left hand, right foot, and I called it. I called it. I knew he was gonna kick him in the head and knock him out, so amazing fighter.